On this episode, we're going to explore the question, how can I include a list of elements in my map overview? You can edit the map overview just by clicking on it, and you'll see we have direct text here. What we can also do is we can add in a dynamic list of the elements that are in the map, and we do that using what's called the list widget. So the way you do that, use two brackets and type list, and then you can either list all elements just by doing slash element. If we click done, you'll see that complete list. We could change this to be person if we wanted all the um, elements with element type person to show up. Or we can even get a little bit more complex and instead write a selector. Uh, we put that in quotes. And then essentially inside of that, we can write out exactly what we want to display in our list. So let's say the current party um, for us equals cndd-fdd. So this is only going to create a list of those people wh who have the value cndd-fdd for the current party. And you'll see it's similar to a normal selector, except we have to use single quotes instead of double quotes within these single brackets. If we click done, we'll see that list of people. What's great about any of these lists, you can actually hover, and it'll be taken to that part of the map. So it's a great way to give people context of what's in your map and have them easily navigate and click around.